Well, good afternoon or good evening. It's approaching the uh, six o'clock hour. It's five o'clock somewhere, as they say. I hope you've had a good week. We've had a busy week at Things That Matter. I just wanted to give you a little bit of a recap, uh, starting with a rally last Saturday in Winnipeg in which I spoke and was introduced to some real patriotic people. Um, Clinton Navis from the uh, Solidarity Motion representing Indigenous people. Uh, Viola, who's working in support of that as well. Um, and we've joined our forces with other Patriot forces uh, in that rally. I'll, I'll speak to that a little bit more. Uh, there was also uh, just uh, talk about our membership. Uh, we're getting up to 2,000 people. Encouraged by that. Keep inviting. Uh, the website is up and running. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, the Winkler Walk for Freedom. We had that last Sunday in Winkler. And the uh, public remarks by the mayor. I will address that as well in this short video and uh, the Winkler police were quite active and in the news. So let's start with last Saturday's rally in Winnipeg. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we connected our group with some other groups that are very patriotic and standing up against this tyrannical government. And that's what it is. You cannot see it any other way unless you choose to simply not see it that way. And our very freedom is on the line. So we stand with other patriotic groups that are opposing the government's overreach and despite the fact that the emergency measures ruling has been uh, taken down, they continue to force their mandates on us. That should tell you something about that group. Uh, but the, uh, the rally itself had about 500 people. And uh, we had uh, some great connections made there. Had the privilege of meeting uh, Tobias Thiessen and uh, became a friend of his and subsequently invited him to our uh, event the following Sunday which was also very good. And um, the Solidarity in Motion people also came out last Sunday, if you recall. Our march was small. The numbers were down. We see that because the weather, of course, is not in our favor. However, uh, I would say it was a five loaves and two fish kind of experience where the people that were there were very motivated and very invested and very concerned about the country that we're living in and how it has evolved into uh, a very much of a socialist uh, and, and our freedoms are absolutely on the line. There can be no doubt as we've seen this government move against the people. And it is imperative that we stand together. We must stand together. Um, we also have uh, this Saturday, uh, tomorrow, tomorrow in Winnipeg, you will come. If you come, you will be meeting at the Forks and we will have a march to the police headquarters in Winnipeg. That's right. The police headquarters. I can tell you something that's happened in the last couple of rallies. The Winnipeg police are breaking and they are seeing and they are starting to come out as are many other uh, law enforcement agencies. The RCMP that has garnered over 45,000 signatures. A very open letter to the uh, chief of the uh, RCMP addressing the concerns over vaccinations and mandates. And we're seeing this. It's happening everywhere. Um, what we're seeing in Winkler here is unfortunate. Our chief of police continues to remain on the side that this is a pandemic and that we must remain. But what we're seeing in Winnipeg is nothing less of fabulous and very encouraging. If you come tomorrow, you will expect to see what I saw last Saturday. Police officers, no masks, in the public, giving us a safe passage. We walked through Portage and Maine last week. Portage and Maine. The week before we did it, and last week we simply met at the legislature. But two weeks ago, we walked through Portage and Maine all the way down Main Street, took a left onto Portage Avenue, headed west all the way to Memorial Boulevard and straight up to the legislature. What a fantastic experience with people that are standing up and the horn honks and the support was fabulous. People are starting to get motivated. We need that to happen in Winkler. We need that to happen in Southern Manitoba. Passivity has no place in this. This is a fight for your lives. And at some point, you may have to ask the question, were you not a free country? Did you not have freedom? Why did you lose it? What did you do to keep it? We want to be assured that we did everything we could to keep our freedom in this country. But the Winnipeg rallies are fantastic. If you come tomorrow, uh, we will be meeting at the Forks, 1230. At 1 o'clock, the march will start and we will go up Portage Avenue to the police headquarters, standing in solidarity with the men and women in blue. This is what we need to do. I do not believe for a minute that there are not constables and officers and sergeants in Winkler who fully agree with Chief Hunt's position. And 
they they are being silent. I we are in support of you. We need our police. We need our police to be on the side of what's right and oppose that which is wrong. But if you come to Winnipeg tomorrow, I think you have a fantastic experience marching in solidarity. So we'll go to the police uh, headquarters. We will surround it. There will be prayer. There will be petitions of uh, support being made. Then we will walk to the legislature where there will be some speeches. And it'll all be peaceful. Peaceful, pardon me. It'll be passive and peaceful. It'll be a good experience. You come and find out what the rest of the world is doing. Do not stay in Winkler here and think that what your mayor and what the police chief are telling you to do is right. It's not. The world is waking up. Manitoba is waking up. And you need to wake up too. If woke is the new term, let's be woke. Let's do that which honors God. But we oppose the tyranny of this government. And if our elected officials are not on our side, so be it. But there is no place for passivity right now. And I know a lot of you simply want to stay hunkered down, re remain anonymous. The costs are too high for that. Come to this rally tomorrow in Winnipeg. You will be inspired. I guarantee you that. Uh, talk a bit about our membership. Closing in on 2000 again, still down from where we originally were, but I'm encouraged. We have people joining our group every day. Listen, Things That Matter is one group. And although I might be the leader of the group, the unofficial leader of the group, the administrator of the group, for sure I am. I want to say to this, find a place where you can plug in, where you can voice your concerns, where you can become active and do that. Become active. Do not sit on the sidelines and watch what's happening to our country and to our province happen without your involvement. You must be involved. So whether you're joining our group or another group, we are welcome to everyone. In the end, I believe it will not be an issue of vaccinated and unvaccinated. We're not about that. This has become a struggle for freedom and things that matter is talking about the things that matter. Number one, freedom does matter. Choice of health care does matter. The right to openly protest in peaceful manner, that matters. These are things that matter. Open churches preaching the gospel of Jesus without fear people being able to do their jobs without fear of being terminated because they don't agree with a vaccination, which they have every right to. You know, vaccinations are have always been and are entrenched in our constitution as a option. You have always had the right, but suddenly we're thrust into this arena where we're being forced, coerced to do something which we know is inherently wrong. And there have been issues with vaccinations from time immortal and they are good vaccination issues and they are good arguments so join our group you're welcome here check out our website that is the next thing that's happening our website things that matter.ca is up and running we have some excellent content we want to move off of facebook onto our own platform we know it's only a matter of time before they deem everything that is good to be hate the churches are going to follow in that too there will be a time when the gospel of Jesus Christ will be determined as hate speech because it lays out how holy our God is and there is standards of right and wrong that must be adhered to. And our God is a God of truth and love, but justice is important. And where there is no justice, there is no freedom. Peace is not the absence of tension, as Martin Luther King once said. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, peace is not the absence of tension. It is the presence of justice. Think about that. Justice matters. Freedom matters. Choice matters. Our God gives us choice all the time. We need to be uh, involved in this. So things that matters up, we've got global, national, provincial, and local news that's posted there. Um, we're also adding, uh, you know, some political content as well. Uh, the election for premier is happening within the PC party this weekend. Uh, there is a, uh, an appeal to extend that from uh, this weekend to another 30 days because a lot of you did not get your ballots. And uh, the office of Shelley Glover, uh, whom I support, I believe, you know, take a look at the platforms. I've met with her. I believe she's honest, sincere, and wants to do the right thing for Manitoba. So if you still have not voted, please consider that Shelley Glover is really the only option. Heather Stephenson is a surrogate of Brian Pallister. She is all about more of what we've already had, and we've already had enough of what they've been giving us. So if you haven't voted, Shelley Glover is where you want to go. Wait for your ballots. They're coming. We want everyone to vote that can. So I hope this um, petition 
makes its way to the right people and that they extend the 30 days. Otherwise, hundreds of you will not get the privilege to vote for the next Premier of Manitoba. So we've got the global, national, provincial, and local news there. We've got health news. We've got, um, uh, we're also adding, uh, I should say, an inspirational element. We want to encourage you in your faith and your walk with, with God. And so we're going to have some inspirational thoughts, some Bible verses, and some different podcasts that you can tie into. We need to be uh, tied into the truth. The truth is that God is not dead. He is in control. He is reigning over this. He is watching over this. He is taking names and he is on the side of truth and justice. When you look at what's happening here, it is a struggle for good and bad. It is evil versus good that is happening right now. And so we want to properly resource you that. I also did announce that we are trying to form uh, what I call care groups in our group. We need to be practical. Things that matter cannot be keyboard warriors and pontificating on all kinds of political aspirations or political ideologies. We need to be boots on the ground, hands in motion, hearts engaged. There are going to be a lot of needs and I have challenged businesses here at our rally to get involved in developing contingency plans because when when critical supply chain uh, shortages come and they're coming the n number of truck drivers that are going to be walking off the job the number of healthcare workers that are going to be leaving their jobs is going to be paralyzing to our country what are we going to do as a community so we believe that care groups is an element and we're meeting tomorrow uh, our advisory board will meet tomorrow and we'll discuss ways forward. How can we be a caring, more community-based group? We are not anti-group. We are pro-freedom, pro-choice, pro-God, pro-life, pro all the things that matter. These are the things that truly matter. Uh, let me get uh, to a recap of the Winkler Walk for Freedom. We had several invited guests, uh, Louis Weiss, who is the uh, Reeve of the RMO La Brokery. He spoke, he did not speak in an anti-government way, but he himself has been punished for speaking publicly, one of the few elected uh, to do so. I did extend uh, an invitation to Mayor Harder. He declined and in his comments suggested that uh, he's still recovering from the $6,000 that he apparently had to spend on our September 14th initiative to declare Winkler a sanctuary city. Uh, I, I protest against that. Since when does it cost $6,000 to say no? And Mayor Harder, you were always going to say no. You were never going to say anything other than no. Because if it isn't your idea, it's not worth talking about. So uh, incidentally, for those of you who listen to that, I want to give you some statistics on that September 14th council meeting. Typically, our council meetings get a very low stream. I mean, it's not exactly, you know, breaking news what's happening on council meetings. I've been to a number of them. And um, so the average is somewhere maybe 85 to 125, 175. September 14th, Things That Matter presented the Sanctuary City um, petition. 4,000 streams. That's not 4,000 people. That's 4,000 streams. Some homes had, I know one guy had 20 people in his home. So whatever multiply you applied, people were watching. And those 2,500 people, by the way, that signed those petitions, they were real. I know the mayor said they're not from here. He didn't even look at the petitions. The majority of them consider Winkler their home, their uh, place of business, their place of commerce, their place of community, and 2,500 of them. So when I invited the mayor this week to attend our rally, and it was an open invitation. There was no uh, cynicism in it, nothing. I just simply said, come and see what we're going to talk about. He declined because he's still smarting from having to spend $6,000. I, I, I maintain that there's no way you could spend $6,000 on a petition that simply said no. It just doesn't make sense. That be that as may, f several people challenge him publicly. You can look up his comments online on Facebook and he his remarks about that were that that was a group with an idiotic idea. Those were his words. I'm not putting words in the mayor's mouth. I would never do that. Mayor Harder declared that the initiative to declare Winkler a sanctuary city was an idiotic idea. So those of you watching this video, those of you hearing about it, those of you that signed the petition, your mayor called you an idiot. That is tragic. That is language beneath the dignity and the office of the mayor. I have not called him that. I would not call him an idiot. But for him to declare 2,500 petitioners idiots, that's a landmark uh a landmark incident that I don't let go. But as you recall, back in August, on the community services event, 
He said, practice your faith, but don't be stupid. So we're getting a consistent message from the mayor and it's not a good one. Um, so I'll leave it at that. I'm not gonna say much more about it. The Winkler police were active. Yep, they were in the news. We had an officer charged from an incident in September. Um, that person was hospitalized. The RCMP laid the charges. And on October 23rd, another friend of mine was accosted by an on-duty Winkler police officer. He sworn out a statement, and that statement will go to Chief Hunt. We want to resolve that incident locally. We don't want to get it into the national news. He's not willing to talk about it to the news, so we've got a lid on that one. But it's tragic to see that our uh, Winkler police are in the news in a bad way. Um, I was served with a $1,296 ticket, courtesy of Chief Hunt. Uh, incidentally, the week before at the... Uh, at the uh, nurses and first uh, responders and the firefighters event where Mayor Harder spoke when the emergency measures uh, order was still in effect. To the best of my knowledge, Mayor Harder has not received a $1,296 ticket. Our event was peaceful on Sunday. It was well organized. It was very respectful. It opened with prayer. It closed with a blessing. I get a $1,296 ticket. That's a badge of honor. I'm not worried about that. You know, you look at this ticket. It's just a ticket. You know what? Hundreds of these, thousands of these have been issued. Chief Hunt, this is pathetic that you issue me this ticket. I wonder how many other people you picked on. But the, be that as it may, I'll deal with it. That's not a problem. But at the same time, the mayor and the city of Winkler take out a two-page spread. And what does it say? Winkler is a great place to live. It's a place where you know your neighbor. It's a place where people look out for each other. It's a place where people extend grace to each other. We have a peaceful march and I get a ticket and people are ridiculed, called idiots. And you want this message to get out there, Mayor Harder? There is a, obviously a disconnect between your sincerity and what you're practicing. People of Winkler, pray for your mayor. He is a lost soul. Incidentally, this ad was pathetic. It doesn't have one person in it. You talk about people making the difference. All it is is a bunch of bare rooftops. That's not an ad I would put out. Be that as it may, he spends your money. You can talk to him about that. One more final thing I want to deal with. COVID, the cult. It is. It has all the earmarks of a cult. I posted an interesting article that Tucker Carlson did. Go to our website and check it out. Is COVID the new golden calf? I want to encourage you guys. Get involved. Do not remain passive on this. Get involved in your community. Get involved in the group wherever you can. Tomorrow the rally in Winnipeg, come. If you can make it, come. There'll be a lot of us there. But I encourage you, get involved. Don't sit this one out. This is all the marbles, guys. Stay together, stay connected, stay united, stay strong, and stand up for your rights and for our constitutional rights in this country. God bless all of you. On behalf of Things That Matter, I wish you a great weekend.